So these double game weeks really ruin the format of this show because captaincy candidates game week 37, I wasn't sure how many points I got. I now know Alexis Sanchez was the best choice, but my choices for this game week have also been affected because three of the players that are most popular choices for captaincy have still got another game to play. What's up guys and welcome to Captaincy Candidates in association with Fantasy Football Pundits here on my channel JNO United. My name of course is JNO and welcome back to the last episode of this season of Captaincy Candidates but I will say Captaincy Candidates will carry on into next season. It's not as intensive and a highly researched show as FPL today purely because I just look at four players instead of looking at so many different options. But before we carry on, I just want to say thank you so much for the support from Fantasy Football Pundits with this new show. And thank you so much for your guys' support on this new show. Easily the most popular show I've ever produced, apart from FPL Today. And finally, before we get into the show properly, I just want to let you guys know that if you go to my Patreon page and become a patron, it doesn't matter the amount from one buck up to 20, you will be entered into a competition to have contact with me Four people will win this prize to get your teams ready for the Fantasy Premier League season in 2017-2018. So if you come along and become a patron and support the channel, I will start doing a lot more prizes for Patreons to kind of pay you guys back. And at the moment, I've only got three, four patrons, so at the moment all of them are winning. So if you are already a patron, you're probably in luck. Anyway, let's get on with the show, Captaincy Candidates, and we're going to quickly look back at last week's episode... My choices were Eden Hazard coming in at first, Gabriel Jesus coming in in second, and Alexis Sanchez third with De Bruyne coming in fourth. Now Hazard has played both of his games and got five points. Already Jesus and Sanchez have more points than that, and Kevin De Bruyne still has a game to play so could also get more. If Gabriel Jesus has an absolutely stellar second game, then I could still maybe get a point out of the Game Week 37 episode, but Sanchez is already so far ahead. Anything from Sanchez means I'm not going to get any points from Game Week 37, which is unfortunate of course, but that's the way the cookie crumbles when you try and predict before Game Weeks are over. Because had I predicted this after Game Week 36 was over, Sanchez would have probably come in number one. Your choices, unfortunately I don't know who you chose because we are having some difficulties with the poll, but next season the poll will come back strong and you guys will be able to have your say. And just at the bottom there, just so you can see, I'm on three points at the moment, getting two points for picking Alexis Sanchez last game week for game week 36. So not doing too bad considering I've only been doing this show since game week 35. So let's get on to the part of the show that you guys are really here for, where I go over who I think the four most popular captaincy choices will be for game week 38 and then try and pick them in order of how I think they'll score. So we are starting off with the number four position and we are looking at Gabriel Jesus at 8.9 million with four appearances, three of them starts. He has managed to score two goals and get one assist with a goal involvement of 37.5%. And now gag walk rating is not applicable. If you don't know what that is, that is last game against game week opponent. And then we have a look at the Manchester City side currently on nine goals from the last four game weeks. That's joint second best in the league with 84 attempts on goals, second best in the league. And on target, they have hit the target 27 times, which is third best in the league. Their opponents, Watford, they have conceded 11 points, which puts them joint 12th worst in the league for amount of shots conceded. And shots conceded inside 39, which is 16th worst in the league. Now, the thing is with Jesus is the possibility of rotation for Aguero. It's the possibility of him not playing the number one spot in the side as far as points go because De Bruyne, Silva, Sane, Aguero, there's so many options in that side that could be getting points but he comes in at a decent price for a Man City forward. Coming in at third and again this could drastically change and he's third because of when I'm recording this and because of the side they're facing but it's Alexis Sanchez. Coming in at 11.6 million with five appearances, two goals and one assist with a goal involvement rate of 37.5% and an El Gagwap rating of one goal against Everton. The reason he's not that high is because I feel like Everton's defence are pretty solid. Everton's defence have only conceded four in the last four game weeks 
and have only conceded 36 shots on their goal. Whereas Arsenal, as far as going forward, they have got nine goals, which is joint second, but they don't rank the highest as far as attempts and on-target attempts go, with 54 and 23 respectively. Now, if Sanchez goes and scores again some great points in the second fixture of Game Week 37, I maybe would have changed this, but I just feel like the options above him are more likely to get a really good haul in Game Week 38. Coming in at second, and to be honest, when I first did the research for this, he was in first, is Harry Kane. Harry Kane comes in at 11.7 million and is chasing the golden boot. He's three goals behind Lukaku, but he has two games left to play and Lukaku only has one. So depending on how many scores in the next fixture, he could be going into this game with 38 with a chance of that golden boot. In the last four appearances, he's got two goals and got one assist with a goal involvement rate of 60% when he's on the pitch. His El Gagwap rating is at zero. He did nothing against Hull last time he played them. But the Tottenham team has scored five goals in the last four games, 63 attempts on goal in total, and 26 of those have been on target. Hull have conceded six goals and conceded 30 shots inside their box, and Hull have nothing to play for. So I think Spurs could go all out in this last fixture, and Kane could maybe get that golden boot. But my number one choice, and I have a feeling this will be the number one choice for most people, is Philip Coutinho coming at 8.5 million, playing for a Liverpool side that need to win to keep their Champions League place. He has played four games in the last four game weeks, got three goals, one assist, with a goal involvement rate of 80% at the moment. So Gagwap rating isn't applicable because he was injured when they played Middlesbrough last time. However, Liverpool have got six goals in the last four game weeks, 69 attempts, at goal which is third best in the league in the last four game weeks with 28 on target which is second best in the league. Their opponents Middlesbrough a joint 20th for the amount of goals they have conceded and also 20th for shots conceded inside the box with 52. So because of that because Middlesbrough have conceded so many attempts from inside the box and conceded the most amount of goals along with Watford I just have a feeling that Coutinho could bring in a big haul despite the fact that I was looking to pick someone else. I think Coutinho might be the safe captaincy option. Anyway, guys, in the comments down below, let me know who you think should be the best captaincy candidate for Game Week 38. And again, thank you for the support on this brand new show. It will be coming back next year. So hopefully you guys are ready to watch 38 Game Weeks of captaincy candidates. At least we'll try and hit that. And for the last time this season, make sure to hit that like button. If you've enjoyed captaincy candidates, let me know. Also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I've been JNO, you guys have been awesome, and remember, it's all about the game.